Good morning, UCS, and welcome back from the weekend to the inside. Today is Tuesday, September 7th. I am what is left of Finn, and I am here with my co anchor, Scarlett. So, Scarlett, what is there that these people need to know on this fine day? Thanks, Finn. In news for your day, there is the first meeting of the National Honor Society during high school lunch. The society members will hear from different candidates who are running for five positions President, Vice President, Secretary, Treasurer, and Historian. Ballots for voting will be given out and will be due to Miss Column at a later time. Coming up on Chapel this Thursday, and the speaker is Kevin Bussey. Other than that, it's looking to be a quiet, short week. Well, that's good, since this past weekend was the last break we're going to have until fall break. Oh yeah? When is that again? It's actually early this year, coming up on the end of the month on September 30th and October 1st. I'm not so sure I can make it that long. Oh, poor baby. Look, now let's see what's going on in sports. Thanks guys, on Friday night at the football game, we defeated Gateway High with a score of 29-20. Running back Logan Blair had 36 carries for 196 yards and sealed the game with a 55-yard touchdown run, which was his second of the night. Senior kicker Porter Crawford made a 31-yard field goal almost in two minutes into the game. The Sentinels followed with a two-yard touchdown run by quarterback Quentin O'Brien. Overall, the Sentinels blocked a punt, had two interceptions, and six sacks. Freshman linebacker Derek Washington led the Sentinel defense with three second half sacks. Let's check out some of the highlights from Friday night. programs are kind of at the same place. Uh, we're both really young, so it was a exciting football game, and you can see some talented um, young football guys, football players on the field tonight. And so you seem to trust 28 a lot with the ball with running, so what made you confident in his success? Uh, you know what, he works out hard, you know, he's a leader for us, he, he plays very physical, and uh, you know, it was, it was easy to put it on his back um, tonight, and he, you know, the mark of a good running back is they get better as they go, and uh, that's what he did, and he finished the game off. Uh, with a big run for us, and you know what, I'm, I'm happy for that kid. Uh, man, it feels good. Uh, you know, we played our butts off. Um, you know, we, we were trying to run the ball hard. You know, defense did their thing. And yeah, you know, that's, it, it results in winning, winning football games, you know. Thanks, Finn. It was busy on Saturday's sports as well. The swim team completed their first meet of the season at Saturday's Tarpon Invite. Here are some of the highlights. Ginger Thomas placed third in the two in the three in the 100 free, sixth in the 200 free, while Kelsey Moss placed sixth in the 50 yard free, and Jack Rennie placed fourth in the 50 free, and third in the 100 free. Ava Povich led the pack again at the 9th Annual DDD Summer Invitational in Estero on Saturday. Povich won the race at a time of 1942.59. Congrats, Ava. Scott Richards led the ECS boys again, finishing with a time of 21.10, followed by Kelby Piper, who finished with a time of 22.48. So since it's the first day of the week, what's the big game of the week, Isaac? Thanks, McKenna. So, Coach, it's a nice short week due to the holiday yesterday. Oh, yeah, short week, baby. 
<laughs> but that doesn't mean things slow down in sports. There are a number of things happening this week, from football to volleyball to cross, cross country. So what is the game to not miss this week? Well, I think there's only two words you need to know, and that's Taco Tuesday! That's right, everybody! It's Taco Tuesday! Today! Right here in the Sydney Field House! We got four games starting right after school with the main event taking place at 6.30 p.m. Varsity Volleyball will take on Lemon Bay at that time. This is a huge fundraiser for our girls volleyball teams and we need everybody to show up with their appetites to eat lots of tacos and get a lot of dubs. Sounds great, Coach. The crowds were definitely in fact last week, so I'll take eight soft-shell tacos with beef, then lettuce, then sour cream, and all the hot sauce you can get. Isaac, you show up and get your own tacos, man. I'm going to have mine Tuesday night. Sounds great, Coach. That's all for now. Taco Tuesday! Hey, thanks, guys. Well, to finish things up today, I have two special guests today. Mr. Jones and Mr. Zietlow are starting up a new boys' Bible study later this week. So what can you tell us about this Bible study starting up? So it's going to start on uh, Thursdays, and it will run every Thursday. And it's going to be during lunchtime, high school lunch, and it'll be in my room, 237. Okay, so why did you feel like there was a need to start this up? Well, we wanted to, the guys to have a chance to uh, explore more of Scripture, um, in a more maybe personal, intimate setting, but also to talk about life, any questions they might have about scripture, about life, about anything going on. And then because it's on Thursdays this year, we had it on Wednesdays last year, but because it's on Thursdays this year, uh, a chance to kind of follow up with chapel messages, any, anything they want to talk about that the chapel speaker happened to touch on. Okay, so who's allowed to attend? So it's during high school lunch, so any high school boy from ninth to 12th grade who uh, is interested in just having lunch and talking about the Bible or things in life is welcome to attend. So didn't you have a similar Bible study last year during lunch? What kind of issues did you explore? Well, um, some of that was uh, the guys even wrote down some questions on a piece of paper and about life, about the Bible, and we were able to address a few of those. Uh, also, the second semester last year, we had some of the senior guys um, lead us, so uh, maybe a scripture, scripture passage that was impactful for them or that they were exploring right now in life, and they were able to share a kind of a devotional with us, so it gives a chance for the senior guys to, um, to step up and have some leadership, especially as they finish out their senior year. And then finally, again, just as I mentioned earlier, the chance this year to follow up with chapel maybe thoughts we had on the chapel message or any questions they may have had on that. Anything you want to add? No. Cool. Okay, well, thank you both for joining us this morning. So you guys heard it here. Thursday, lunchtime, in Mr. Z's room. Okay. So that's all for today, Sense. Have a great short week.